Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafty Family, it's me. And today I am going to show you something um, that I discovered. Um, so Tim Holtz came out with lots of new fun things this year. I'm really excited because I have my glass mat coming, which I'm really excited about. Um, one of the things he came up with that's new this year. Sorry, my desk is a disaster. I haven't cleaned it up, but I, I got like my brain just, I don't know. I got an idea and I just had to play with it. And it turned out that I was kind of right, I think maybe. But anyway. So one of the things he came out with was a resist spray. And I said, well, after watching video after video of him at CHA playing with this resist spray and, you know, just, I don't know. I figured I have an idea of how it might be, be able to be replicated. And so um, here's my replication. It's in a it's in a cosmic shimmer bottle, but that's not what's in here. Um, so let's just I'm gonna spray it for you, and whatever I I don't care. Okay, and now I'm going to you know my whole thing is sticky now. Um, let it dry or we'll use the heat gun for the sake of time. Let's do that. I don't remember, I don't know how much his takes to dry. This might take just a little longer, but not by much because it's almost dry now. doesn't take long as you can see this is all real time so let's cool it off a minute yeah it's dry so it doesn't take long that little bit of drying that you just sat through that's it it's completely dry like dry 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 so here's the test right the whole point is it's supposed to resist wherever you spray it it's going to resist the color that I spray down. Okay. And you can see some of the areas. Well, no, you can't. Let me zoom you in a little. It might help. Sorry. Um, not going to hurt it by sitting there. As you can see, it's beating up in certain areas. So if you just take it and wipe it, tell me that that's different than his. There's nothing different about it. It's exactly the same. Am I wrong? Is it any different? I don't see a difference. Do you see a difference? I don't see a difference. At all. So, if there is, we don't know because I don't think any of us has the resist spray so we can't play with it. We don't know. I'm going based on what he showed and this looks exactly like what he did. Like, he even said you can, like, layer colors, and it'll keep resisting. Um, so, okay. Let's layer another color. 
and there it is still resisting and if you go over with a baby wipe over you know you can wipe it clear you see what i mean like there's no there's no difference i didn't see not from what i'm seeing on the video screens do you know what i mean i haven't seen it in person and i plan on getting it in person at some point here to try it because i want to see the difference but i'll show you how i made it it's so easy you're going to be like oh <laughs> So even if this isn't exactly like his, maybe it takes a, like a few seconds more to dry. Maybe it's a little this, a little that different. The result is very, very freaking similar. You know, and like, remember he talked about the texture? I can feel it. There's texture. There's definitely texture. Maybe he has a little more texture with his. I don't know. Now, here's the other thing. Remember he embossed on it? So let's try that. Let's emboss. I'll even use the same embossing powder he used, which is the Rangers Queen's Gold. And this I haven't even done yet. I've done this much off camera, but I have not tried embossing it. So let's take one and let's for, what do I do with it? Let's for poops and gigs. We're going to take this and we're going to clean this up first. Where did my spray bottle go? Because it does dry quickly when you spray it. Pretty quickly anyway. Now you can see it on there. Hopefully. Oh, I'm so close to the camera. Sorry. I don't know if you actually can see it on there. I'm trying. Well, now I'm not going to focus. Come on. There we go. Anyway, I can't I'm going to do this and we're going to try embossing it as he said to do. And we'll try this and see what happens. Maybe this won't work. Maybe this will be the, the thing that decides, you know, the deciding factor that it's not like his. Maybe not. Fingers crossed that it'll work. Right? Because if it does, then holy crap, you don't need to spend $7.99, <laughs> which is how much his costs. All right. Is it, this isn't the first time I've... The, the resist paste, I also found... It, I'll try to remember to put a link for that video below. I, I made the resist paste as well. What, is it called resist paste? I don't know. So let's anyway, let's see. Seems to be working just fine. Hmm. It embossed. No different. It did the exact same. Why am I so close? Video quality doesn't work so good when I have it so close, but you can see it's embossed just like when he did it. And then he took the spray and, you know, went over it. And obviously, we all know embossing powder will resist anything you put on it. So, yeah. It's basically, you can call it faux resist spray, but it works just in case you want to save your money. All I did, and this is crazy, but all I did was take, now you can use several different things. This is why I think everybody can make this because everybody's got at least one of these things. You can use glossy accents. You can use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, which is the same as Glossy Accents, maybe a little bit thinner. Glossy Accents, Dimensional Magic, Triple Thick, any one of those top coats that dries clear and hard, that's what you can use. 50% of the, this or Glossy Accents or whatever, 50% diluted with water. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more of a finer mist, you could probably dilute it a little bit more than that even. 
but play with it play with it a little bit you could play with the, the with the dimensions but it's just water and dimensional magic or mod or uh glossy accents that's all i did and i just made a small batch to try it um and it looks like what got me thinking was when i saw him using it my my gear started moving i saw him use it it has the dimension right i thought well what gives dimension glossy accents okay he showed it when it was on and dry and it looked shiny and I thought, what's shiny that gives dimension? Glossy accents. And then he showed the bottle of it. And he said, see, it's kind of milky in the bottle. And I went, what's milky when you mix it with water? Glossy accents. So that's all this is. Is I don't know whether that's his formula or not. But as far as getting the same result, half 50% glossy accents, 50% water or dimensional magic. One of these type of things. I didn't have enough glossy accents to do this with in a bottle that wouldn't pour correctly. This was just easier to get out of the bottle at the time, but it'll work the same. I promise you. So there you go. If you want to play with the resist um, spray, that's all you got to do is get yourself a bottle, put some, you know, 50% you know, one part water to one part glossy accents or dimensional magic or even some triple thick. Triple thick and glossy accents are a little bit thicker than dimensional magic. So you might want to add just a smidge more water. Play with it. You know, make sure it's pretty fluid, but you don't want to lose the dimension. So that's why you want to only kind of do 50-50 or maybe a little bit more so that you get that dimension a little bit and I don't know how much dimension his has really it's hard to tell on camera but this does give dimension I mean it's not like mountains and valleys of dimension but it is dimension so it's enough and it acts the same and works the same so anyway I thought you guys would find that interesting and get a kick out of that and want to give that a try so if you would like to give it a try you know if you do give it a try and you you know you like it or whatever give me a comment down below and let me know you know i'm interested to see what you think about it what you you know compare it for yourself i mean even though you don't have it in your physical hand yet compare it to the videos and the things that he's doing all over all over the internet right now with it and tell me if you think it's any different because i don't see a difference so anyway that's it uh, I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you have a great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. Bye. Mm.